the true meaning of the intro of the mystery of Erevos revealed, and will my ex-wife ever let me see my son again, today on Dragon Prince Theory. There's been an interesting change to two of the introduction scenes of the Dragon Prince. In the title sequences, the petrified image of what is normally Viren has been replaced with an image of Callum. Now, this has only happened twice so far since the mystery of Erevos arc began. Very weird, and I was pretty confused. I wondered what it could possibly mean. At first, I thought that it might simply be related to the parallels that had been getting set up between Viren and Callum, such as the mirroring of the shots and even having Callum literally dress up in Viren's clothes. But now, after Season 5, I have a new theory about what this could possibly mean, and it's going to blow your mind. So, make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out what the final conclusion could be. The first instance of Callum replacing Viren as the petrified piece in the opening comes in Season 4, Episode 4, Through the Looking Glass, which is far and away the best episode of that season. It's the only episode we actually get a scene of Erevos in that entire season, so obviously it's top tier. Anyway, in that scene, he uses some kind of horrific dark magic to stretch through the mirror and control Callum like a puppet. He then uses him to diss all the other members of the dragon team. The dragon gang? The dragang, if you will. Anyway, I don't believe that this is a coincidence anymore. You see, you see, when this first happened, I thought that perhaps him turning into the puzzle piece was a reference to the line that we hear Erevo speak in that same episode, in which he mentions how Callum is fated to fall right into his hand. In that opening, of course, we see him holding Callum like a chess piece. So what does this mean? How do these two things tie together? And why is this opening in Season 4, Episode 4 different? Well, I think I've got it figured out, you guys. In these episodes, that is to say, Season 4, Episode 4, and Season 5, Episode 8, we see him being corrupted or influenced by the power of dark magic in a way that will ultimately lead him to playing right into Erevos's hand. There definitely seems to be a progression to these events, and there's a rule in writing called the Rule of Three. Usually the Rule of Three basically means you do something three times and then on the third time you either up it or you do something different. It's used in comedy a lot. Anyway, so far in this arc, we've seen him use dark magic twice not counting the scene he first did it in the last arc. The first time, we saw him have it forced upon him by Erevos, and then in the second time, he was forced to use it in order to save others. And I believe that the logical conclusion is, is that we will see him use it a third time, and this time he is going to use it on purpose in order to do something big, something that we can't even fully grasp yet as an audience as it has not properly been introduced yet. Although perhaps the foreshadowing has been there the whole time and we just don't have the context in order to piece it all together. For example, there definitely seems to be a lot of setup about Rayla and her desire to free her family from the coins. It is my belief that Callum will choose to use dark magic in order to free them and that he will come upon this realization at the tower to which they are heading in the next season. The first time the dark magic affected him, it was forced on him. Then, the second time, he was forced to use it. But this time, this third time, I believe it's going to be more of a choice, ultimately leading him to use it on purpose in order to solve a problem without being in, let's say, mortal danger or peril at that moment like in the other instance. Somehow, and I don't know how, but somehow this decision to use dark magic to free Rayla's family from the coins is going to be instrumental in freeing Erevos from his prison. I definitely believe that this is where things are headed. That the meaning is symbolic 
that every time he uses dark magic in some way or another, the intro has changed to reflect to show how he is slowly playing right into Erevos' hands. I believe we will see this one more time, and that time will be in Season 6. And this will be the last time he uses dark magic, as after that, Erevos will finally be freed by Callum. So, in the ever-evolving tapestry that is the Dragon Prince, these subtle shifts in the introduction scenes hold a promise of something profound. And as we've witnessed the transformation of Callum's journey and the ominous influence of dark magic, these altered title screens become more than just visual changes. They are a reflection of his internal struggle and possibly a clue to his ultimate journey. But what do you think? Is Callum fated to be a mere pawn in Erevos' grand scheme? Or is there some kind of deeper purpose behind these alternate title sequences? The anticipation is palpable and the excitement undeniable. As we journey alongside Callum and Rayla and the entire Dragon Prince universe, one thing is certain. The mysteries unveiled within these ultra title screens are merely a glimpse of the thrilling odyssey that lies ahead in season 6 and 7. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, maybe check out this other video right here. I mean, look at that thumbnail. It looks pretty interesting, right? I, I, I haven't decided which one it's going to be yet. I'll, I'll do that when I upload the video. This is just me recording it. <laughs> and then, you know what? Here's another one. Check that one out. I mean, if you want. <laughs>